I've been in the rail industry my entire career. I love the way that it connects people to their goods, it connects families. The excitement that you get while you're on a locomotive, uh, when you're in throttle notch eight, it's just it's something that you you know propels you to a new excitement and energy. And it's always fun to see people wave to you when you got a big train behind you. It's just it's something that you can't describe. The mission of the rail industry is super exciting. is to provide safe, reliable, and efficient transportation, meeting customers' expectation. Part of my journey so far has seen tremendous growth and leaps and bounds by deploying new technologies in safety, efficiencies, and driving customer outcomes. As I started my rail career, everything was focused on clipboards, paper, switch lists, printing documents, all kinds of things that had massive inefficiencies, calling dispatchers to get train orders, where now these things can be automated. There's a lot of problems still from the analog that we can solve with new means as digitalization that can drive better outcomes for all of our customers. The three main problems we've seen in my career here at the railroad, starting from the ground, working my way all the way up to a general manager, have been excess idle, fuel theft, and remote connectivity that enhances visibility to make real-time decisions. In the analog age, we solve those problems by throwing a massive amount of resources at it, having our team members, you know, managers drive to those locomotives to collect that particular data. That created massive amounts of inefficiencies and waste, not focusing on the true outcomes that we're looking to drive, safety, reliability, and meeting customers' expectations. So we've talked a lot about the past, now let's talk about the future and the exciting advancements that are leading the rail industry today so we could be all successful together. Hey Mike, how you doing? Good morning, Chad. How you doing today? Good, good. good. Appreciate you taking the time to talk to us about the digital transformation here at IHB and then your personal experience with that. Not a problem. Maybe talk to us about some of the processes and procedures that were in place at that time and, and kind of some of the pain points or bottlenecks that that, that may have caused. Okay. Um, back in 2000 and when I came on board, we used to have to chase down downloads. Now it's to a point to where the event recorder and everything is right there. It's all web-based and um, I can see what's going on right now versus having to um, download the locomotive. If you were to share your experience with someone that was thinking about you know, digitizing the railroad and taking that, that step and putting you know, remote connectivity, what advice uh, would you have for them or best practices? Well, the question I always get is um, uh, mainly about the um, inward-facing camera, how crews are reacting to the inward-facing camera. People thought that was going to be a hiccup um, in the beginning, but um, the more installs that we get, the more um, adapted our crews are. I mean, they're going about their business just like the camera wasn't there. It's been a useful tool for both sides. Hey. How you doing, Mike? Am. Doing good. Good to see you. You too. Hey, uh, we wanted to have a, just a conversation on some of the digital transformation that uh, IHB has made and kind of, uh, you know, what, why did you guys take that step? All right. Uh, well, some of the uh, issues that we've been having uh, is kind of seeing the utilization of our fleet. Uh, you know, it'd, it'd leave the roundhouse and it'd just go off somewhere. We didn't, didn't know where it was going, what it was being used for. Uh, so this kind of digital transformation kind of helps us keep track of that, helps us track our fuel usage, helps us track our utilization of our fleet. Uh, so that's one, one of the reasons why we went with that. Super exciting to be here on the CNG locomotive today. I mean, it's, it's one of a kind. There's not a lot of companies that have kind of taken that leap. Right. So it's exciting to be here with that. How do you monitor, you know, CNG now with this type of locomotive? Because it is, it is, you know, leading edge and in, in, in breaking through on technology. Right, it is the first of its kind. Uh, but so we have onboard computer systems on the locomotive uh, that monitor the usage, it monitors the temperature of it, uh, the pressures of it. Um, and then at the fueling station where the compressors compress the natural gas and send it over to the fueling station, uh, they, they calculate how much usage of fuel that we use and then from there we're kind of able to, to gauge how much uh, we're using annually or monthly and uh, see what fuel savings we have there. 
what best practices or recommendations or processes uh, have you been able to, to change using some of this type of technology? Uh, the number of locomotives that we have in our fleet and where they go, uh, it's, it's changed dramatically with this. Uh, so we're able to see kind of which yards use which locomotives, how often, and we're able to build our plans from that. As we kind of talk through technology, um, you know, technology sometimes scares people. Sometimes it, it you know, makes them feel uncomfortable. What were some of the hes hesitations and some of the things that you've been able to do here uh, to, to influence uh, adoption of technology? It, yeah, the, the railroad industry itself is, is an old industry, and uh, the guys are really set in their ways. So whenever you know, they come to adapt change, they're really hesitant about it. So that's, that, again, that's where you go into the training of it and let them know exactly what it is uh, and, and how they can use that to better their jobs, make, it, make them more efficient. Hey Chad, you've been a railroader all your life. You started off as an engineer and worked your way up to become a general manager. Just in your experience, what are the different problems you've seen on railroad and then how do you see technology solving them? Yeah, so um, excess idle, um, we've talked about that a lot. You know, how do we empower um, good decisions and informed decisions? Fuel theft, you know, how do we alert in real time and, and look at the whole supply chain of fuel from the time it's, it's delivered to the locomotive to the time it's spent? And then remote connectivity, um, you know, how it can bring new insights and visibility and how technology in these particular segments uh, can really drive new outcomes, drive excellence uh, in operations. So a lot of people say real time, but they really mean based on every hour the information comes across. That, that's not really real time, or, or I get some files at the end of the day. That's not really real time. Like, like what is real time? What does that look like? Yeah, and as, as a product manager, I see people say real time, and they really mean once a day, right? In, in our case, we're talking second by second data, right? We have capability that we can stream second by second uh, event record data, video data. But the beauty of it is we, we take all that data, we condense it, we digest it, and we only give you an insight. So it, you only have insights that you can go take action on than having to go through terabytes of data and then spending lots of time building your own insight. Really the, the key benefit is having remote connectivity to it mm -hmm. so you can actually act on that information immediately versus wait to the end of the year, have you know annual reports and showing how much fuel that you, you know, how many locomotive miles you've traveled versus how much fuel you burn. Right. From a product perspective, we now have Violet where it lets you download event record data and video data off board. Uh, again, what, what problems do you see that solving for customers and if you can give us a couple examples? You know, back in 2000, early 2000, there wasn't these digital gauges, it was sight glasses and mm -hmm. it, was, it was old analog gauges and that was very difficult. You'd have to get with the fuel team, find out actually how much fuel was put on board there. Mm -hmm. So with the new connectivity has allowed for just speed, just speed of information. There I can actually be with my crews mm -hmm. on the ground providing job safety briefings with them as they're coming on duty, making sure they got the right paperwork you know, shuttling to their places, making sure that they are set for their mission as they depart to go from, you know, LA to Barstow. That's that's their mission. Most of them are, are going those big long haul trains. You gotta make sure they're set up for success. It's not enough to have the technology, you have to integrate the technology. And that requires all of us working together in a partnership to lead to successful outcomes. Are you ready for that challenge? <laughs>